fire departments across the state of Florida are taking remarkable steps to save lives. Today, after every fire, you're decontaminating your gear. This process, created in collaboration with the Firefighter Cancer Initiative at Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center, is reducing the harmful carcinogens on your gear by 85%. While you are doing this to be safe, you may have questions about new risks this process may present. Let's first talk about the process of getting your gear wet. Your bunker gear is made so that water cannot penetrate or reach your skin. There are three layers, an outer shell, a thermal barrier, and a moisture barrier. Together, the three layers work to keep water during the decon from reaching your skin. As long as you follow proper decon procedure, there will be no risk for steam burn. To illustrate this point, here's a group of firefighters that have just gone through a fire simulation. Now, they're going to go through the decon process. It is important to note that you're washing only the exterior of your gear. You want to take proper steps to ensure water does not get on the inside of the lining. Once the decon process is complete, instead of sending the firefighters to rehab, we're going to send them back into a fire simulation. And they will be wearing the gear that is still wet from the decon process. Once in the simulation, their bunker gear is exposed to extreme temperatures for several minutes. Upon exiting, the firefighters are checked and because they followed the recommended decontamination process, there are no signs of steam burns or other injuries. Bunker gear dry can weigh as much as 45 pounds. You may have concerns about how much your gear will weigh after soap and water is added. The good news is it's minimal. As an example, this firefighter fully packed out weighs 304 pounds. Now we're going to put him through a thorough decon process. After completing the process with plenty of soap and water, he steps back on the scale at 308 pounds. The difference between dry and wet bunker gear is about three to four pounds. When it comes to drying your gear, drying times can vary. Therefore, once you've completed the decon process, you want to bag your gear, and once back at the fire station, you want to hang up your coat and pants to dry. Never place it in direct sunlight. Newer gear, on average, takes as little as 10 minutes to dry. Older gear may take an hour or more. Much of this has to do with the ever-improving technology in our equipment. Remember, even if you've just wrapped up the decon process, you could still re-enter a fire in wet bunker gear. The water weight from decon has little impact on the total weight of the bunker gear. In dry times, it can take as little as 10 minutes up to an hour, depending on the age of the gear. Regardless, wet or dry, it could still be used on a call. And don't forget the importance of showering within the hour. These decontamination processes are reducing our exposures to harmful carcinogens. Together, we're making the fire service safer.